And then once this switches over, this is this going to be enough for one bar, um, one ingot, Alex? We will pour it into an ingot mold to make brass, I think. That's the idea. Will this work? I don't know. But we're going to experiment. So all we have to do is let this get to 900 and then switch a route to the charcoal. And our dreams are going to be uh, getting closer. I'm going to put this hoe away. I don't need to carry this with me. And this tool rack has plenty of space for that. I think you can just set tools down. That's right, you can. But I enjoy using my patented tool racks. All right, almost there. When it becomes daytime, it's actually probably daytime now. Yeah, it's daytime enough. I'm going to return to the, uh, not only the copper site, but I want to return to the site of the cobblestone and see if there's anything in the basement. See if there's any, uh, you know, cracked vessels in there for us to get some cool rare drops from. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to actually take the extra pickaxe just in case put it in my bag here we have an extra knife i'm just going to bring this knife and not even mess around with this particular knife at the moment because it's about to bust so we'll just kind of put it on the rack and then we have a good amount of spears but honestly i might want an extra shovel because the shovel is about to bust and let's see if this is molten and we'll create 100 units of brass. It, it doesn't say molten. Is it ready to go? Oh, it already did. Okay, there it goes. Thank you. I was like, come on now. All right, and then we're going to pour this in ingot. You, you can, Mr. Kiwi, and uh, you can build whatever your heart desires. Um, it, it might take as long as a real one in some ways, but once you get to that technology level, you certainly can, Mr. Kiwi. It's awesome. That's what's one of the, co the coolest things in this game. You start out with, like, nothing, and you slowly, slowly start to amass, um, you know, more technology. Am I waiting for this to cool before I can pick it up? I think I am, right? Alright, so that's going. And I have 11 copper. Cool. Right, I'm going to put the charcoal back. I'm going to take this crucible, and we can just kind of set it there for now. All right, so we're waiting for that to cool. While that's doing that, let's bail. Uh, we need to eat, so let me just kind of nosh on this, and then we'll put the bowl back over here. Look, the full stuff over here, empty bowls over here. Empty plates to the left, full plates to the right. Um, I'll take another one. I don't think I ate that. Did I pour it on the ground or something? It seemed like it didn't give me any satiety. Okay. Let's go. Let's check our garden. Man, these bunnies want in our garden so badly. No bunnies. And let's see. These turnips are almost there. Carrots are growing. The rye is nearing completion. Fantastic. Oh, you know what, though? Let's get the uh, the cairn. Let's do that first. 
I oh that's a great idea, uh, Mr. Kiwi. I would, my friend. I do the same thing. I like to just boot up Minecraft every once in a while and play it because it's you know classic. It's such a a cool game. Uh, but I just think that this is such a fun take on it. All right, we're gonna go over here. Fantastic. All right, there's all our peat. And we're looking for the saltpeter area, which um, was right over here. Oh, okay. I'm right by it, apparently. I must have built my home, like, almost right on top of it. Here it is. I did. Okay, let's go, and we'll get this out. And see if we can just kind of... Um, get in here and get some granite but in a way that we don't die all right so there's flint right that's good sandstone sandstone this wasn't the saltpeter cave though was it it doesn't feel like it this is just sandstone and and flint i'm i'm close to it but i'm not there oh it, it went down this way that's right okay we went over here i'm gonna put this in the offhand and just dive in and try to get down to the granite without too much trouble. Oh, cool, Crispy. You know what? Um, I might check it out, my friend. I love Xbox Game Pass, and I love seeing what they've got. And this is Saltpeter, which might as well get that while we're here. And this is the granite. Okay, great. Oh, wait. I'm not gathering this right. Didn't you say... Alex, that there's a special thing that you have to do to gather the granite. Like, break it, all the blocks around it or something like that. Or maybe I'm not, un like, I'm getting a bunch of granite stones, but I don't know if that's what I need to make the cairn. Make the block float, thank you, okay. There we go, perfect, okay. I see what you mean. And I need four. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, almost there. Okay, I have two. Oh, it's actually kind of hard. This granite is so delicate. What is this? Sandstone? All right. Hey, Hans. What's up, my friend? Thank you for following. How you doing? We're getting some granite. We're trying to make a cairn. Oh, we've got three pieces. Three pieces. Let's just try to get this one. That's it. We got four. We got the magic number. Now I'm going to peek down here because I'm feeling really, really uh, risky. Wow, look. This is like a stalagmite or something. Or is this a support? It's a spelethum. Oh, man. I hear evil noises. Hey, Hans, good pun, my friend. I love it. Let's not take it for granted. I gotta get out of here. You know what, Jan? Um, that's a great question. I, I don't have a sub button for Twitch because um, in order to multi-stream, in order to be able to stream on both YouTube and Twitch, I can't be a Twitch affiliate. Uh because I was a Twitch affiliate, but I had to back out because they they don't allow you to multi-stream. So um, I love being able to be on, you know, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch at the same time. So I kind of have to sacrifice that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just a weird artifact at the times. Although I'm wondering if... Like, Twitch seems like it's 
trying to reverse tact on that a little bit exclusivity stuff so we'll see if they do stalactites hold on tight stalactites might that's how you've that's the the mnemonic device mr kiwi to remember that thanks you i always forget that those things look almost like they were built but maybe that word um the spellethem or i'm not, not saying that word right but maybe that means when the stalactite and the stalactite touch Oh, awesome, Shady. Yeah, when I was, uh, years ago, I taught a short story class, um, and we did, uh, Lovecraft, and, uh, a lot of his short stories along with, like, Edgar Allan Poe, and it was a great, you know, time of, like, uh, just really, really creepy stuff. Uh, I need to put this over here because I don't want to waste my stamina and let's see about dropping this stuff off and then going to the other site <laughs> yeah Mr. Kiwi it seems like somewhat reasonable you know I could like pretend like I have a 50% idea of what's going on with that and and it's passable uh, all these granite stones I wonder if um, oh no they're not like they're like these I, they're not slabs okay and we can just put this in our garden on our way out fantastic <laughs> yeah exactly I could just uh, push print on my computer, Mr. Kiwi, and the geology degree will just spit out. All you got to do is just play a little bit of vintage story and you're, in, you're there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, like, fertilize this, I guess. And fertilize that and that. Sweet. All right, let's go. All right, I got granite, which is something I've been meaning to do for a long time, so I'm very pumped about that. <laughs> yeah, Shady, actually, Dwarf Fortress is great at making you a geologist, too. Uh, you know, like, I learned the names of so many different types of rocks going through the different layers of the earth in D Dwarf Fortress. It's fantastic. Dolomite. I gotta be honest. I also, I mean, like, I can now make bread and pies. Oh, because I can make flour, Alex? Oh, man, that's awesome. Any game where you can make pies is a winner. Yeah, Galena, Mr. Kiwi, there you go. And, like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I learned what an aquifer was from Dwarf Fortress. I didn't know what it was until I flooded my base. And I was like, what's this aquifer? And then I looked it up. I was like, well, there you go. Aquifer. Actually, let me get this. Let me see what is available here. It was right here on this beach, I think. I found these loose stones. Oh, no. Actually, I think I already mined this out. Yeah, this was my first location. Never mind. Wrong place. <laughs> yes, there you go, Shady. I know. You can do so much with chalk. Here we go. This is the spot I was looking for. Let me see what happens if I dig a little deeper here. I am going to actually just use this soil to uh, block this off. Hey, no, soil. So I can get in here. And let's see if there's any stone beneath the surface. Or if that was just, you know, a red herring. Oh my god. What have I done? I've... Oh, that was... Not wise. All right, here. Give me this. Get in there. 
Block it off. All right, let's go. Is there anything of note down here? Oh, there's muddy gravel. That's not good enough. I really can't either. Oh, look at this. It's lead. You think it's worth getting any lead right now, people? Oh my god. I almost died. We almost had a cave-in. When Dwarf Fortress comes out on Steam, I'm truly going to be pumped. Alex says no. Lead is not worth it. Alright, so we want copper, but not lead. So we found a bunch of lead, which... Whatever. Get out of here. Oh my god. The dangers of being a miner. Alright, let's go back. Oh, actually... Let me test this out. What are these? Pine leaves? Give me the sticks. I'm here for the sticks. What is this? Heather? I'm not here for the heather. I am here for these sticks, though. Oh, it's a bounty of sticks. Oh, shears. Let the sticks fall in my face. Let it rain sticks upon me. I know, it is unfortunate that they can't stealth drop it. It's also unfortunate, Shady, that it seems like they've been, like, hyping it and, and talking about it for, like, three years. I feel like it's years in the making. But then again, I, I guess it probably would take a while to, uh, to translate you know, the most complicated game ever made <laughs> into a more reasonable system. Hey, Swar, what's up, my friend? Hello. How's it going? All right, we're going to go all the way over here, and I'm here for the cobblestone. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but in Minecraft, when I start to feel rich in Minecraft is when I can use, like, my unbelievably good picks, um, not for, like, the, the more difficult to break rocks that you need it for, but just for all mining, like this, and I can just, like, devastate the landscape with my with my really really strong picks and I just don't worry about it I'm not saying I'm there but I'm saying I'm feeling a lot better about using like a copper pickaxe at this point because I can somewhat make them you're gonna get some money in Germany awesome get money is good you gotta have that so you can buy vintage story Is there treasure back there? Did I miss it? Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. You know what, Mr. Kiwi? Um, I'm not too scared to play Dwarf Fortress as is because that's the only Dwarf Fortress that I know. But it is true that I haven't recorded a, a Dwarf Fortress on... Um, made any videos or even done it on stream. The only thing that... I would feel bad about is like I haven't played Dwarf Fortress in a while and Dwarf Fortress is one of those games that I would like boot up every year or so and it's like riding a bike where I oh here it is right here Alex and what do we get we cracked it and it's foraging and it's like a bunch of low fertility soil and patches of grass do I care about patches of grass Oh, it's fire clay. It's a whole bunch of fire clay. Okay. Um, and then these are the grass pieces. All right, we're going to have to use Alex's inventory trick at this point. Fire clay and dry grass. Well, I mean, dry grass is cool. So Dwarf Fortress controls are brutal, but then you play a game like, you know, Clan Folk or whatever, 
and you can see how they've made so many of the aspects of Dwarf Fortress easier to do, like automating your labor and all that stuff, and I wonder if they do have any plans uh, to do that kind of stuff when they bring Dwarf Fortress over or not. Just toss, toss the heather. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, Swar, no worries, my friend. You know what? You're right. Um, oops, I did the classic. I closed it. I'm ruined. I don't even want that. What I want is... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now I got the right stuff. Okay, good. So... As what Shady is saying, you know, the other thing about it is, like, I understand that Tarn put most of the code for um, Dwarf Fortress in, like, you know, in C, but also just uh, not any kind of contemporary programming languages. So it's very, very difficult for anyone else besides him, probably, to work with his code. And then they, I think they, like, changed artists at some point, like, midway through the process. And so they had to get it, like, the artist had to completely start over on the sprites and all the stuff. Either way, whatever. I'm excited for it. I'll play it when it comes out. I know they hired a music, um, like, a new musician for Dwarf Fortress, and I'm... Um, like, I'm down with it, but I'm just such a huge fan of the original guitar music from Dwarf Fortress. I hope they don't take that out, or they give you an option to just have that continuously playing, because that's, like, just what I associate with the game. What is this? Flint. Flint is not right. But I'll tell you what is right. Sticks. So many sticks. I feel like the shears just guarantee that you get sticks. Like, that was the other thing that, that felt hard about breaking leaves and stuff before with, like, your bare hands was a lot of the time you just wouldn't get the stick. But I feel like the drop rate of sticks is way higher with the shears, but I could be wrong about that. I mean, the amount of vegetation in this game is just absolutely shocking. Yeah, I have the sound sense um, as well, Shady. I usually play with uh, the Lazy Noob Pack, which just gives you a whole bunch of the utilities like bundled together. Whenever I boot up a, a new game of Dwarf Fortress, like the Dwarf Therapist and um, even Stone Sense, the isometric like beta is kind of fun to mess around with. All right, here we go. So we did a good job getting in. I did a few times, Shady, and like the Lazy Noob is the only way I go now. Yeah, Mr. Kiwi. The the acoustic guitar is so good. All of it's good. I hope they keep a lot of that stuff in there. But yeah, the Lazy New Pack is just such a great way to easily get into the game. Cause without some of the, the quality of life features on those mods. Woof. Alright, so uh, let's put this copper in here. And let's go ahead and... We're getting, like, to the point where we have enough cobblestone where we can really start making some nice designs on the outside of our place. I'm going to put away this grass. And I'm getting... I got a bunch of flax fibers, which is awesome. Uh, I got some more galena nuggets, which is lead, of course. And then 
uh, pine cones so we can plant some trees. Put this over here. This is just terrible soil. Can't have enough of that. Uh, we got some more bony soil if we want to do some work. And then this is clay, fire clay. So we have, <coughs> excuse me, both blue clay and fire clay thriving together. And let me go ahead and put these sticks in here. And great. It's fantastic to have a little bit more organization. I'm still in love with these trunks. All right. So let's see. Did we finish everything that we set out to do? Uh, this is done. The ingot. And so if we put the ingot um, on here... Wait, wait, wait. What do I need to do with this? Brass ingot. All right. Oh, cool, Mr. Kiwi. Oh, I have to heat it up on the, uh, on the forge, right. Okay, it's in there. And then, do you have to use, um, charcoal in the forge, or can you use peat to get it started? It looks like it only takes charcoal. Exact, no, you're right, Shady, that is what you need to do. You gotta heat it. I was like about trying to start hitting it with a hammer and it's like, no, 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 you gotta soften it up. You gotta heat that metal. Whoops. Now, can I ask you guys, what am I making with this brass? Am I going to try to make the torch sconces? Or do you guys have a recommendation for what I should make with a, a brass ingot? Torch holder? Oh, I put way too much charcoal in. I wish I could take it out. I, I keep forgetting that you don't need to fill it up before you do it. torch holder or a chisel. No, I want the torch holder. I want I want permanent torch. Just unbelievable torch. Um let's see. So these give you 5 units of copper each. So I have 79, so I need about 20. 21 in fact. So let's see. This is 15 uh 6 will do it then. And then what I'm going to do is take six and put it uh, here. And I'm going to pick up the crucible. And then I'm going to put the crucible uh, here with this inside. And then I'm going to get some peat. Okay, thank you. I'm just going to add this to my axe mold so I can finish my copper axe while I'm working on that process. And then um, this is ready. Okay, so what we're going to do is just put it there and then we're going to get our hammer. And let's see, what do we want to make? Um, select tool mode. And, oh wait, uh, no, I need to... Uh, I need to pick what item I want to make. Whoops. Um, smith? No. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, how do I see the the recipe again? of what I'm doing with this. Oh, that's right. It's in the handbook, isn't it? Okay. Um, torch holder. I need a brass plate. 
And so to make a brass plate, I just, what, smash it flat? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, I need a full bar and I ruined it? 